with your eyes closed, please let your hands come to rest comfortably on your lap. Exhale your breath all the way out. A slow breath in through your nostrils. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Stretch your arms over your head, please. Reach up through your fingertips. With your hands to your heart, exhale, side out, let it go. Seal your lips. Begin breathing through just your nostrils, please. In through your nose and out through your nose. Breathing through just your nostrils. See if you can deepen the breath as you add sound to the breath. You should hear the sound of your breath as a loud whisper, it's the distant sound of the ocean filling up the space within and around you. This is the breath we'll use throughout our practice. It's our ujjayi breath, and it's a form of intention. It's a form of creating heat as we move, separate from just the body's um, heat from movement. So you have your own internal furnace going through with practice. We'll keep that breath flowing. And set the intention for practice today. So the theme of class has been balance. This is just a really practical theme. The past few classes we've taken uh, have taken us into these really deep four folded positions. So today the balance is to move into some backbending again. Backbends are a great practice for finding balance within our body. We spend most of our time in, let's call it a forward folded position. Even right now in seated, we've got this flexion at the hips. We've maybe got our shoulders leaning forward a little bit. Uh, if, even our hands are in front of the body. And their back bends allow us the opportunity to expand into the other way, into the other direction to create balance. So we have this physical balance and just the energetic balance of opening up our front body, our individual self, is a way for us to become more fully, more full and rounded, more uh, complete. This practice is called Purna, Purnatva, which is fullness. And it's that is the element or the, the character trait that we are embodying today, fullness, purnatva, as we find balance through backbending. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for om. Let's come on to our hands and knees. And so the first thing to recognize about Purna is that we all arrive here complete and whole. It's part of the tantric philosophy that all of us are complete as we are, and that we need nothing outside of ourselves to experience fullness or completeness. 
And I really liked that philosophy because it so reminded that, um, you know, the practice isn't designed to like, fix or cure us, but it's a reminder that we arrive in this space. We arrive here already as the best version of ourselves. It's just about believing that and bringing it to the surface. Spread your fingers nice and wide, please. Shift your weight forward, lift up the palms, and lower the palms back down. We'll do that a few times. Lift your palms and lower the palms. Lift your palms and lower. Let's go five, lift, four, three, two, and one. Keep it going up to your fingertips now. To your fingertips and down to your hands. Fingertips, palms. Fingertips, palms. Five, four, three, two, and one, and come up to your fingertips, bring your chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone, really round into the upper back, scoop the tailbone underneath you, press to the finger pads a lot. Oh, that's gonna feel really good. Inhale, cow pose now. Spin your thighs back, lift the chest up, maybe even gaze up towards the ceiling a little bit. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, round your back. Inhale, cow pose, spin your thighs back and broaden your hips, lift the bottom of the heart. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. Come back to a nice neutral spine. Turn your palms face up, please. Point your fingers in towards each other. Wiggle your fingers and roll out your thumbs. Let's rock it out side to side. Rock it out. Right to left a few times, wiggling your fingers, rolling out your thumbs, lean to the left, lean to the right, lean to the left, lean to the right. Turn your palms face up, please. Uh, sorry, turn your palms face down, please. That makes more sense. Point your fingers back towards your thighs. Rock forward, round your spine, cat pose, lean into it. Rock back, round, uh, lift your chest, cow pose. Press your hips back to your heels. Two more, exhale, cat pose, rock four. Inhale, cow pose, shift it back. Exhale, cat pose, rock it forward. Inhale, cow pose, shift it back, and sit all the way back onto the tops of your feet, please. This could be a really nice place to stay, just holding on to this deep knee flexion, stretching the ankles and the front of the shins, called tibialis, or you can walk your hands back, and maybe work on lifting one or both knees up. So one knee at a time, might look like this, or maybe both knees up at the same time. You can take it all the way up to your toes if you want to. All right, we're gonna stay here for a second, friends. So go ahead and lower your knees back down. Walk your hands back behind you. Press to your fingertips, lift into your chest. Roll the shoulders back, just a nice heart opener. Try not to drop your head back, but instead extend the crown of your head up and back without just dropping the back of your head down. Shoulders back, chest is lifted, press to the fronts of the knees. Take one more breath. And slowly come forward, come on to your hands and knees again. Left arm reaching out to the left, please. Stretch out through your left fingertips. Please start your left arm underneath you and land on the back of your left shoulder, on the left side of your head. You're gonna press through your right hand and stretch through your left fingertips as you twist. Think about making your legs active here, so tone your thighs. Spin your inner thighs back, broaden your hips. Press back into your hips as you stretch forward out through your chest. You can draw your navel in more. Maybe walk your right fingertips towards the top of the mat and rotate a little bit more. Please bring your right hand back down underneath your right shoulder. Push down through your right hand, sweep your left arm up to the sky and step your left foot back behind you, please. Big stretch up and over your head through your left fingertips. Get nice and long through your left side body. 
And then look down to the top of the mat, please. Step your left foot all the way forward. Reach your left fingertips forward, lunge. Stretch out through your fingertips. Ooh, okay, circle your left arm back. Reach back and grab your right foot. Give it a nice little squeeze here. Release the foot, circle your left arm around. Straighten your left leg, flex your toes. Push your hips back and fold in. Inhale, come forward, circle your left arm up, reach it back, grab your right foot, please. Give it a good squeeze as you deepen your lunge. Release the right foot, circle the left arm around, straighten your left leg, flex your toes. Inhale, rock forward, left arm goes up and back, grab your right foot, give it a good squeeze here. This time as you release the foot, tuck your back toes, straighten your front leg, lift your back knee up. We'll get into a longer pyramid pose here. Press to your feet, fold in. Press to your hands, please, and take your left leg up to the sky, three-legged duck. Stack your left tip over your right hip. Squeeze your heel to your bum. And keep the right side nice and open. Press to your right hand, lift your outer right hip, wrap it back. Press to your hands, press your chest to your thighs. Listen carefully, friends. We're gonna softly land the left foot to the ground just behind us, kind of into a wild thing. We're not gonna take that full wild thing. Instead, we're gonna drop our butt to the ground and place your left hand right between your foot and your right thigh. Keep your right hand on the ground where it is. Ready, lift your hips up, reach your left hand over your head, lower your hips down, tap the ground between your foot and your thigh. Lift your hips up, tap the hand down, lift your hips up, and tap the hand down. Lift your hips up, come all the way back to plank pose, and lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lower your knees to the ground. Reach your right arm out to the right, please. And thread the right arm underneath you and come to land on the back of your right shoulder. Reach to your fingertips. You can stay here or walk your left fingertips forward to the top of the mat and twist. Keep reaching out through the right hand. Pulling the left shoulder back as you breathe. Me, if you make your legs a little more active here, just invite the uh, anchoring of your lower body. It gives you your twists a lot more depth. So tone your thighs, spiral your thighs back, draw your belly in, look up. Let's unwind. Place your left hand down and open your right arm up to the sky, please. Step your right foot back and open your right arm up to the sky. Big breath in, reach up and over your head, stretch through your fingertips, get long through your right side body. We're gonna step the right foot all the way forward to the top of the mat. Reach forward through your right hand, drop your hips, lunge deeply. Now circle your right arm up and back, grab a hold of your left foot, please. Give it a good squeeze. Ooh, that feels really Release the back foot, circle your right arm around, and straighten your right leg. Flex your toes, flex your thigh muscle. Nice, everyone. Inhale, rock forward and lunge. Circle the right arm up, reach back, grab your foot, and squeeze. Release the back foot, reach forward, straighten your leg, and flex your toes. One more time, rock forward, circle the right arm up, reach back, and grab your foot, squeeze. Release the foot, pick up your back knee, straighten your legs, come into a long-legged pyramid pose. Put your legs nice and active, tone your thighs, press to your hands, press to your feet. We're gonna sweep the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog pose. Right leg goes up, bend your right knee, squeeze the heel to your bum, and then stack your right hip over your left hip, please. Keeping the left side body nice and long, press to your left hand, outer left hip wraps back and under, 
And press your chest to your thighs, lift your right thigh higher. Really softly step your right foot to the ground behind you. And we're not gonna take that full wild thing just yet. Instead, lower your butt to the ground. Place your right hand right between, or tap the right hand to the ground between your legs. Inhale, lift your hips up, reach forward, reach over your head, and exhale, tap the ground. Inhale, lift up, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift up, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift it up, turn it all the way around, come back to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Spread your fingers wide. Shake your shoulders and your hips, please. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes and start to walk your feet forward all the way to the top of the mat. Let's come forward, forward, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. We'll do this three times. Lengthen your spine, stretch the bottom of the heart forward. Exhale, fold in, nose to knees. Inhale, lengthen, stretch your heart forward. Exhale, fold in, nose to knees. Inhale, lengthen, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold in. Push down, rise up, reach your arms to the sky. Grab a hold of your left wrist and side bend over to your right side. Draw your navel in, squeeze into your glutes a little bit more and stretch. We're keeping our back body full. Come back up, grab your right wrist, please. Lift up and over, side bend. Inhale, back up through center. Let's cactus the arms here by taking the elbows wide, moving the shoulder blades down your back, pulling the shoulder blades towards the midline and pressing the bottom tips of the shoulder blades up into your heart. Really open up like you're about to do a big back bend here. Maybe this might feel like a big back bend for you. Inhale, chair pose, arms up, hug your shins in, spiral your inner thighs down to the ground, broaden your hips please, then get really low. Bring your hips to the height of your knees, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Place your hands down. If you're going to step back, go ahead and step back to plank pose. If you're going to hop back, make sure you land with your elbows bent as you land. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Cobra pose, shoulders back. Drop your chin a little bit, Daryl, and roll your shoulders back a little more. Yeah, downward dog, exhale. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up, halfway lengthen. Nice, Cody. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to standing, take your arms up. Grab a hold of your right wrist, side bend to your left side, belly in, glutes active, press through your feet, reach through your fingers, come back up. Grab a hold of your left wrist, side bend to the right side. Inhale, back up. Cactus your arms, please. Shoulders draw down the back. Heart is lifted. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chair pose. Inhale. Draw your belly in, away from your thighs. And make sure your legs are really strong. Shins in, inner thighs spiraling down. Broaden your hips. Sit through that space. Exhale. Good, Colin. Forward fold. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Plant your hands, step or hop back. If you're hopping, land with bent elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose or upward dog. Roll the shoulders back. Try not to lift your chin up. Instead, focus on lifting, let's say the bottom of your chest upward. Rather than pulling your chin up, lift your chest up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, step, hop, or float forward. Forward fold, good, Joanna. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise to standing, take your arms up. Practice the arms, exhale, bend your inner thighs back. 
Lift your belly, lift your chest. Inhale, reach the arms up, chair pose. Bend your knees, get low. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs down, lift the navel, sit a little bit deeper. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway, plant the hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra pose. Lift your chest, downward facing dog. Please lift your left leg high to the sky. Bring your left knee into your chest and step between your hands. Spin your right heel down, press your inner right thigh back. Rise up, warrior one. Pause and breathe. Tone your thighs, squeeze your heels together. Spin your right thigh back, wrap your left hip under. Draw your navel in a lot. Try to keep the low back full. Even though we're working on back bending today, we don't want to force our back bend into our low back. Try to find more movement through your upper spine, your thoracic spine. So draw your belly in, ready from your hips, press down. From your hips, stretch up, reach back. Release the hands down to the ground. Take it back, chaturanga. Both hands down, step back. Cobra pose or upward dog, shoulders back. Downward, facing dog. Please lift your right leg to the sky. Bring your right knee into your chest, step between your hands. Spin your left heel down, spin your left thigh back. Rise up, warrior one. Breathe. Tone your thighs, squeeze your heels towards each other. Inner left thigh spirals back. Draw your navel in. Lift the front of your hips away from your right thigh. Keep the back body full. There'll be a little bit of a back bend here just because of the shape of the legs. You don't want to end up pushing the ribs forward and the butt back. Belly in. All right. Good. Keep that. Nice adjustments, everyone. Lunge deeper. Press through your feet. Stretch higher. Reach back to your chest. Release the hands down, take it back, chaturanga. Cobra pose, downward facing dog. Let's do one more round, lift up your left leg nice and high. Bring your knee into your chest, step between your hands. Spin your right heel down, rise up, warrior one. Strong leg, stretch back. Release the hands down, all the way down and back, chaturanga. Cobra pose or upward dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, right knee to your chest, step between your hands. Spin your left heel down and rise, warrior one. Deepen your lunge, release the hands down, take it back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose, roll the shoulders back, lift your chest high, downward facing dog, exhale. Pause and breathe. A couple of breaths in through your nose, out through your nose. Inhale, lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Lightly step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart, exhale, stand up. All right, this can be a little bit hard to see because of the angle of the camera. What we're gonna do now is take the arms up and turn your palms forward. You're gonna place your right hand in the palm of your left hand, then thread your arms back alongside or behind your ears. Pressing your right hand into your left palm. All right, so take the arms up now, then bend your knees, chair pose, move your hips back, draw your belly in a little bit more. For me, I'm really riding the edge of my balance here. Press the arms back, lower your hips as close to the heels as you can. For three, good, two, press your arms back, one, let the arms fall, forward fold, sweep the arms behind you, interlace your fingers now behind your back. Squeeze your thumbs together, stretch up and over through your knuckles. Shins hug in, inner thighs spiral back. That action becomes really important as you move towards our deeper back bend. Shins hugging in, 
inner thigh spiraling back, broaden your hips, please. Press to your feet, stretch to your chest, reach up and over with your knuckles, one more breath. Bring your hands to your low back and slide the hands down towards the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway. Please step your right foot way back behind you. Right foot steps back. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Take the arms up. Once again, turn your palms forward. Bring your right hand inside of your left hand and thread your arms back alongside or behind your ears. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Take a second to really engage your legs. Open your thighs. Scissor your thighs together. From the center of your hips, press out through your feet and deepen your lunge. From the center of your hips, lift up into your chest. Reach back through your fingers. Press right hand into your left hand. Both hands down to the ground, please. Come forward. Float your right leg up off the ground. And now walk your hands forward a little bit. Walk your hands over to your left. Stack your right hip over your left hip, just like we did in that down dog in the beginning. Bend your right knee a lot and squeeze your heel towards your bum. And walk your right fingertips out a little bit further. Get really long through your right side body. And if you can, look up underneath your right armpit. So you're really twisting here, turning your chest up, but pulling your toes back towards your head. Hold, breathe one more breath. I know it's weird. Big step back with your right foot. Come up to warrior two, please. Rise up, warrior two. Check your alignment. The heel of your front foot lines up with the arch back foot. We're going to take another shoulder stretch. Drop your right arm down, your, uh, your right arm behind your back. Walk it up to your shoulder blades. Drop your left hand down your back to grab your right hand as best you can. You might not make that connection, and that's okay. But just grab your shirt or maybe use your right hand to hold on to your left elbow as you side bend back. So your options again are wrapping your right arm behind your back, walking your right hand to your shoulder blades to grab your left hand, or clasping your left elbow with your right hand. Wherever you are, tone your thighs, squeeze your heels together, spin your inner right thigh back and wrap your left hip on. See your feet lunge deeper. Try to keep this more of a side bend, back bend. Pull your right shoulder back more. Side bend through your left side. Very good. Release the left hand down. Stay in your lunge. Circle your right arm forward. Side angle pose. Good. Lean back. Open your heart. Look up. Turn it to the right side. Skandasana. Knee bending and left leg extending. Squeeze your heels together, please. Draw your thighs into your hips. Press out through your feet to stretch. We'll come forward back to the top of the mat. Side plank to the right side. Right hand coming down. Left arm going up. Side plank to the right side. And from here, you can step your left foot behind you. You find your wild thing. Pressing through your, feet, your hips and reaching through your fingertips. Turn your right hand. Big stretch here. And let's come back around to plank pose when you're ready. Both hands down, lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Pause and breathe. In through your nose and out through your nose. A couple of breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose and out through your nose. Lift to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop to the top of the mat. Press through your hands. 
forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway length in your spine. Keep your knees from locking out and stretch your chest forward a lot. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your nose to your knees, please. We're taking it up to chair pose. Bend your knees, take your arms up, chair pose. Turn your palms forward, please. Bring your left hand in the palm of your right hand. Same thing as we did on the other side, just the other hand this time. Press your left hand into your right hand, thread your arms back alongside your ears. Move your hips back, bend your knees, get really low. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs down. Sit low, but lift your chest, press your arms. Forward fold, sweep the arms back, interlace your fingers again behind your back. With the opposite clasp of the hands this time, palms are squeezing together as your knuckles stretch up and over your head. So lots of big shoulder stretch in here. Hug your shins in, step back, keep your legs active. From your hips, push through your feet, stretch to your chest, and open your shoulders. Bring your hands to your low back and slide your hands down to the ground. Lower your left knee down. Take the arms up on Janayasana. And once again, turn your palms forward. Bring your left hand into your right hand and thread your arms. So do your thighs together. Squeeze and chin a little bit more. Dry. Reach up, stretch back, reach the fingertips back, press your left hand back into your right hand. Building a lot of overhead shoulder mobility here. Release the hands down. Go ahead and pick up your left foot, left leg. Walk your hands forward. And then you'll stack your left hip over your right hip, bending your left knee. Walk your hands over to the left. Really reach out to your, uh, sorry, over to your right. And to the right. Really reach out. Do your left fingertips and look up underneath your left armpit if you can. Squeeze your left heel to your bum. Pull your left toes to the back of your head. Look up and underneath your left arm if you can. Should feel a really big stretch to your left. Side your head for three. Standing leg strong. Lift your thigh. Two. And one big step back with your left foot, everyone. Warrior two, please. Rise up, warrior two. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Tone your thighs. Squeeze your heels together. Draw in thighs to hips, then expand deep in your lunge stretch. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Walk your hand up to your shoulder blades. Reach your right arm up and drop your right hand down your back. Okay, hands clasp if you can. And if you're not here, that's fine. Just grab a hold of your right elbow with your left hand. Okay? Deepen your lunge, bend into your right knee a lot. Lift your chest up, pull your elbows apart energetically, and draw your ribs in. Make it more of a side bend. Turn your chest to the left side of the mat, side bend towards the back. Right elbow pulls back. Lunge deeper, pull back, elbows pull apart. Release the hands and come into side angle pose now. Right hand coming down and left arm reaches forward. A big stretch to the left side, look up, lean back, open your heart to the sky. Keep wrapping the right hip under, pressing your left strong. Come down side plank pose to the left side. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Step your right foot to your left foot, side plank pose. Oh, thanks, Colleen. Everyone take your right foot back to the top of the mat. Yeah, that's right. Right foot comes back to the top of the mat. Thanks, Monica. Turn to your left side, skandasana. We can't, we mustn't forget the skandasanas. Oh my, what's gotten into me? Heels squeeze together, press out through your feet. Now we can move gloriously into our side plank pose. Push off your left foot, come forward, left hand down, right arm to the sky, side plank to the left side. Step your right foot to your left foot, please. Stay here or wild thing, step your right foot back, press your feet, lift your hips, 
Engage the glute on the left side, especially, and really check your right hand. Maybe the hand touches the ground overhead for three, two, and one. Come back around to plank pose, everybody. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose. Exhale. Lower your knees down to the ground, please. Let's walk the hands out in front of us. Puppy dog pose. Arms out. Hips stay over the knee. Lower your chest. Please press to your hand. Draw your front ribs in a little bit more. Then stretch to your chest without pushing your ribs forward. Stretch to um, the center of the chest. Push it forward and down. You can have your forehead, your chin, or your chest down. Couple more breaths. Hold it still. Look forward to your thumbs. Slide forward, Sphinx pose. Bring your hips forward and down to the ground, please. Sphinx pose, press your forearms down, lift your chest up, pull your heart forward, make your legs really strong and active. You're pressing down into the pinky toenails so that your inner thighs can spiral up to the sky. From there, draw your belly in and pull your chest forward and up. Okay, think about lifting up and away from the mat as best you can. Couple of breaths here. Press down into your forearms, lift up into your chest, make your legs really strong and active. One more breath here. Exhale and lower down to your stomach, please. Uh -huh. Open your arms out wide to a T shape, reach your right arm out to the right. And then roll over to your right side, please step your left foot to the ground. Your neck relax, reach to your right fingertips, press to your left hand. Just a couple of breaths here. If you want to reach back with your left hand and grab your left foot, you can. Just just And we'll switch sides, please. Open your left arm up left. Roll over to your left side. Step your right foot to the ground behind you. Press to your right hand and lean back into it. Should be getting that really big stretch to your left shoulder, your left chest. Maybe you can reach back with your right hand and grab your right foot. Once you have the foot in your hand, get a nice kick. Roll your right shoulder back. Make sure your right shoulder isn't pulling you Come back to your stomach, please. Interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze together, reach your knuckles back, lift everything up. Toes stretch back, knuckles stretch back, arms and legs lift up. We'll hold it, Shalavasana for five. Palms squeeze together. Four, reach your toes back, stretch your heart forward. Three, keep stretching to lift up. Two, and lower down. One. Relax for just a moment. <sighs> mm. 
Bring your hands next to your chest, please. And when you're ready, back down, facing down. Spread your fingers nice and firmly to your hands. Lift your hips up and back. We're going to lower both of our forearms down to the ground at the same time. Dolphin pose. Press the forearms down. Press your chest back to your thighs. Hug the forearm together. And again, press the chest back towards your thighs. Hold and breathe. Pressing chest to thighs. Pressing thighs back, lifting your butt to the sky. Now lift the left leg up to the sky here. And at the same time that you bring your knee into your chest, you'll lift both elbows up. Rock forward, both elbows lift, left knee into your chest. Step your left foot between your hands. Lower your right knee down to the ground and take both arms up. Anjane Asana, kneeling lunge, stretch up to your fingertips. Bring your palms together and your thumbs to the back of your neck. Scissor your thighs together, draw your belly up and in. Swing your elbows together, lift your elbows up and back. Deepen your lunge and reach back to your fingertips. Heart to the sky, stretch back. Release the hands forward and down. Lift your right leg up. Walk your hands over towards your left right hand and stack your right hip over your left hip, please. So you're going to your right side body. Bend your right knee, squeeze your heel to your bum, roll your right shoulder back, look up and underneath your right armpit if you can. Big stretch to the side body. Step your right foot way back behind you, come up warrior two, please. Squeeze your heel together, tone your thighs a lot, draw your thighs to your hips. Right thigh presses back, deepen your lunge, left arm goes up, Drop your left hand down and clasp your hand. Turn your chest to the right side of the mat. Lean back, left elbow points towards the back of the mat. Deepen your lunge, stretch through your legs. And come down, side angle pose. Left hand down, right arm sweeps forward. Lean back and open your heart. Press to your right foot. Reach to your right fingertips. Scan dog. All right, hip to right heel, squeeze heels together, press thighs apart, drop your hips nice and low towards the earth. Come forward, side plank pose to the right side. Walk your hands forward, place your right hand down, lift your left arm to the sky, push through your right hand, step your left foot back, side plank or walk, left foot steps back. To the ground, up and over your head. Keep pushing through your right arm a lot, Squeeze through your left glute, lift your outer hips, come back around, please, plank pose. Both hands down, lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Nice job, everybody, downward, facing dog, exhale. Hips up and back. Lower your elbows down, come back to dolphin pose. Both elbows down to the ground, Press through your forearms, press your chest to your thighs, press your thighs back, big stretch for your chest and shoulders. Please lift your right leg up. Right knee into your chest, both elbows lift, step between your hands. Lower your left knee down, ground please. Take both arms up to the sky. Bring your palms together and drop your thumbs to the back of your neck. Squeeze your elbows together, lift your elbows up, and just start to lean back into your elbows. Make sure your legs are active, tone your thighs, thighs together in the center of your hips. Press out through your feet, stretch up and back, reach back through your fingertips, please. Chest up, fingertips back, heart open, place the hands down to the ground, and pick up your left leg, come into that standing split action. From here, you'll walk your hands over towards the right and stack your left hip over your right hip. 
left hip stacks over your right hip. Really lift your left hip up and over by wrapping your right hip under more. Walk your left fingertips over to the right a little bit more. Nice, Colleen. And twist, look up underneath your left armpit. Really squeeze your heel to your bum, curling your left toes to the back of your head for three. Standing leg strong, two. And one, big step back with your left foot. Rise up, warrior two. Right foot is forward, left leg is back. You got this, we're almost there, stay with it. Right foot is forward, left foot is back, warrior two. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Reach your right arm up and drop it down your back. Stay with it, friends. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Tone your thighs, squeeze your heels together. Turn your chest to the left side of your mat a little bit more. Side bend, right elbow pulls up and back. Deepen your lunge, stretch through your legs. Right hand comes down, left arm circles forward. Side angle pose. Stretch through your left side body, get long, look up, lean back. Turn to your left side, skandasana, left knee bending, right leg extending. Stay low as you come forward, side plank pose, left hand down, right arm lifted. Step your right foot to your left foot. A little bit of play here, maybe you step your right foot back. Wild bang, reach to your fingertips. Oh yeah, lift your hips. Maybe your right fingertips really lightly graze the earth. Maybe they come all the way down. Nice, Catlin. Good calling. Breathe. Good, Monica. Nice, Cody. Come back around. Plank pose. So good, my friends. Lower down. Chaturanga. Cobra pose. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Rock forward, plank pose. Come all the way down to your belly. Let's come back up onto our forearms for a sphinx pose, please. Elbows under shoulders. You're gonna bend your right knee and reach back with your right hand to grab your right foot. Start with kicking the foot into the hand. Let it lift you up a little bit higher. All right, keep this lift in the chest. Good. Uh, then take your left elbow forward a little more and then lift up a little bit more. Okay, keep the lift in your chest. Now start to pull your right hip towards your uh, right heel towards your right hip. Bending your right knee, flexing your hamstring, right heel towards right hip. We'll hold for three, chest up, heart forward, two, and one. Let it go. Come back down onto your right foot. Chest up, keep that little back bend happening, heart forward, shoulders back. Back, kick the foot into the hand, let it lift you up even more. Left hand, you're kicking back and lifting your chest. All right, now we're going to pull the heel down, pull the heel towards your outer hip. So and pointing that to the sky if you can. Three, chest up. Get Fatima even more. Chest up, chest up. Two. Yeah, and one. Release it and lie down on. Take a upward facing bow pose. So a couple of options here. If you'd rather stick with a bridge pose. For today, that's great. Just stick with bridge pose. If you want to take it up to the upward bow, uh, wheel pose, we'll walk you through. All right. We're all going to start with bridge and progress from the bridge up to the upward bow. Place your feet flat on the ground, about width apart, which means the feet aren't wider than your hips. In fact, your none of your pose will be wider than your hips. But you want to. Uh, squeeze your lower half. You want to squeeze in your shoulders. Next, press your feet down. Press to the inner edges, outer edges of your feet. Hug your shins in so that your knees aren't splaying much. You want to make sure your knees aren't going wider than your hips. 
and drag your heels energetically back. So it's like you're trying to scooch your heels towards your shoulders or drag the back of your mat towards the front of your mat. Okay? Keep that action in the legs. Lift your hips up, bridge pose. You can interlace your hands behind your back and wriggle your shoulders underneath you. Squeeze your heels towards your shoulders. Spin your inner thighs down and lift your outer hips high. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in your low back, I want you to think about spiraling inner thighs down more, lifting through the outer hips, not through the top of the pelvis. But towards the backs of your knees. You're welcome to stay here if this feels good. You can also use your hands to hold yourself up, bringing your hands to your hips for support. If you have any props, you can use those. If you want to take it up to upward bow, now you'll place your hands alongside your ears about shoulder width apart. Press through your hands, keep dragging your heels back, and lift up, upward bow. You can stay in your bridge pose. You can take it up to the upward bow. You can come down and rest if you need it. There you are, make your legs active, please. Chins in, thighs down to lift your outer hips. Hug your forearms in, broaden your upper back, and then press. Everyone, stretch it out. Good, Zena, shins in, thighs down. Lower yourself slowly down to the ground, everybody. Nice and slow. Pause, breathe, check in. As you come, especially if you're pushing up from the bridge to the upward bow, the tendency will be for your toes to turn out and your knees to go wide. Let's say that's okay for the transition, but as you come back up and hold the pose, make sure you turn your toes back in and hug the shins back in so that you're not just forcing your hips up, your pelvis up, but instead you're making space, broadening the low back and extending through that space. Let's go again, bridge or upward bow, same thing. As you inhale, press up. Upward facing lower bridge pose, your choice. Hands in, inner thighs down. Make sure your knees aren't going wider than your hips. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs down. Just the action alone of pushing your inner thighs down is going to give you a lot more lift in your hips. You press your chest back if you're in upward bow. Try to bring your shoulders over your wrists. For three. Good, Monica, two strong arms. And one, come down. Rest, recover. Let's see if we can squeeze in one more of those. Last one. Bridge or upward bow. This is a pose we've been building towards our peak pose today. But what this pose how it affects you, right? It's the opposite action of most of our day-to-day -day work. Back bends invite us to open our heart, to open our front body, which is our individual body. To remind us of our fullness, of how complete we are within us already. This back bend is with you to unlock it so you have the ability to feel full, complete, and whole on your own. Inhale, press up. Without any outside sources, right, our yoga reveals to us that within us already is this shape within us already is the ability to feel full, complete, and content. Then our fullness, we recognize the bliss. Press to your feet, spin your thighs down, lift into your outer hips. Three, Two and one. Very nice. Slowly lower yourself down. Ooh, hopefully that felt good. Felt great to me, I thought. Let's go ahead and windshield wiper your knees side to side. Nice job, everybody. I love those back bends in the morning. They get your heart rate up, feel energized, you feel strong. 
It's because we get that sense of fullness. It becomes unlocked. It becomes free and accessible. Knees to the left, please. Knees to the left. Look over here. Fullness or purna is a quality that we yes. we just need to be reminded, reminded of our fullness, of our wholeness, of our complete. Maybe at some times that sense of fullness is concealed. Take your knees over to the right, please. Hidden behind other patterns of movement or thought that seem limiting. But then we embark on a journey like this, where we're challenged to open up being with intention and purpose. Breathing with focus and awareness. By nature, the practice of yoga and meditation in tantric philosophy is destructive because it's asking us to break away limitations, to move past obstacles, to um, remove any blockages, come back up, stretch your arms. But once we are free of those blockages, those limitations, those obstacles, What's left again is our fullness. What's left again is a reminder of how complete and blissful we can be on our own. Knees into your chest, please. Give yourself a squeeze and rock up to seat it. <laughs> Bring your feet together and your knees apart. And this is our starting position. Lift into your chest. You're actually going to take your left foot to your right uh, left your right knee, let me say that again, take your right knee to your left foot, right knee to left foot. Yeah, now walk your hands over to your left, please, and lower down onto your forearms. Yes. You can stay right here, or for a little bit of a bigger twist, take your right arm out to the right, and then thread it underneath your left arm. Starting to come back up. We'll take it to the other side. Both knees over to your right, uh, sorry. Take your right knee to the right, then take your left knee to your right foot. It's kind of the easiest way to explain it. Left knee to right foot, walk your hands over to the right, come down onto your forearms. Stay here, or if you want to thread your left arm underneath your right arm, sort of like the stretch we took at the beginning, you can come down onto your left shoulder. Slowly coming up. Ooh, it felt good. Stretch your legs out nice and wide apart, feet wide. And let's take one last set of stretches here. Right hand to the sky, side bend over to your right. Use your left hand to maybe grab your right foot. Lean back, pull your left rib cage. Support your head with your hand. You can't letting your right hand hold your head. As you twist, try to keep your legs active. Just one more breath. Slowly come back up. Take your left hand over to your right thigh. Reach your right arm up. Side bend over to your left. Tone your thighs. Breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your nose. You want to support your head with your hand. Use your left hand.
breathe. Slowly coming up, stretch your legs out, uh, stretch out through your arms now, just reach out forward, right down the center. Two straight legs wide, fingertips reach out for three, two, and one. Pick it up. Let's make our way back down onto our backs, everyone. We'll finish with just an easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy, happy baby. Thigh wide, knees pulled down. Lengthen through your back body. We'll rock it out for three, two, And one, bring your knees into your chest, bring your nose up towards your knees, take a deep breath in. Shavasana, exhale, like that. If you feel pressure in your low back, still tightness, you can take your Shavasana with your knees bent, letting your uh, feet stay on the ground and your, your knees knock together. If you want a little bit more stretch, take your legs up and really hug them into the body like a plow pose. Or take another twist. If you're ready to just lie back and be still in Shavasana. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Take a deep breath in. Stretch out your arms and your legs, please. Inside out, exhale, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself one good squeeze and rock up to seated, please. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to your heart. Sit up nice and tall. Feeling in this moment your fullness, how complete you feel, body able to move through all the different planes, but also heart just as open and strong as your universal self, our way that we connect with the world around us, just as strong as we connect to our individuals. Let's close with an ohm, exhale. Inhale for own. Oh. Lighten you. Thank you for practice. Thank you so much, everyone. Great job today. As always, if you have questions, comments, requests or feedback, please reach out to me, Stephen Arcos Yoga on Instagram, Facebook, uh, website, and email, Stephen at Stephen Arcos Yoga. I'd love to hear from you. Again, requests, comments, feedbacks, really great to hear. Uh, anything you want to share or any thoughts that come up during practice, I'd love to hear from them. Also, don't forget we have classes are recorded, so if you would like a copy of today's 
us, just reach out and I'll help you get it. Thanks so much, everyone.